Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, heading out this evening, not expecting a lot of rain, but an isolated brief shower can't be ruled out. Take a look at live picture down at Oakland Beach in Warwick. It's actually pretty, both the clouds and a little bit of sunshine right now. Temperatures are in the mid and upper 60s, even close to 70. So all points around the area, it's essentially quiet. The one little shower has popped up uh, in uh, Washington County, Southern Rhode Island. This is actually a thunderstorm uh, approaching a coastal Connecticut. This is actually staying away. It's actually drifting off uh, to the south, but a newly formed uh, little shower has popped up now uh, out across the southern part of the state. And again, it won't last very long. The rest of the area, it's dry, but again, next hour or two, brief pop-up shower can't be ruled out. Temperatures now are in the upper 60s to still 70 in Providence, mid and upper 60s across the south shore. We're going to head down through the 50s during the evening hours and overnight. All right, all eyes on Hurricane Matthew in the Caribbean, getting real close. And the satellite representation still looks, well, very impressive. A, a major Category 4 hurricane. You can clearly see a well-defined eye. Haiti right here. You can see Jamaica. In fact, we can get in even closer and kind of fly right around the eye. The eye itself is about 15 nautical miles wide. So this is really kind of a textbook example of what uh, you know, a mature, powerful hurricane looks like from space. It's uh, moving off uh, very slowly to the north at about seven miles per hour. So bottom line, it's a slow mover. So we've been talking all about it last week. We're going to talk all about it again this week as any potential impact here in New England, if at all, wouldn't be until the latter part of the weekend. Here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. Winds of 140 miles per hour moving north at 7. Take a look at the forecast over the next several days and obviously high impact uh, situation here for uh, eastern Cuba and Haiti as the storm tracks north and eventually northwest through the Bahamas. And this is way too close for comfort come Friday and Saturday for the southeastern United States from Florida to uh, North Carolina. Here we are, Category 2 hurricane by Saturday afternoon near the Carolina coastline. Obviously, a storm in that position becomes a big concern for points north. Bottom line is we're really not quite sure what the storm does beyond this point, whether it makes a, a very close pass to New England by the weekend or takes that right hand turn out to sea and honestly we may not really have a good handle on this until Wednesday so you know the situation you want to stay tuned to further forecast but any impact if at all would be reserved for the latter part of the weekend I'll show you that in the seven day future cast in the meantime widely scattered showers across the northeast will be diminishing but look at all the clear dry weather across a good chunk of the U.S. so pretty much a better part of the work week is actually quiet with some sunshine along with seasonable temperatures tomorrow morning a cloudy start then becoming partly sunny temperatures starting off in the 50s and then during the afternoon, a cloud sun mixture, breezy and dry, quiet weather day by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, your temperature at 65. Seven day future cast shows quiet weather right through Friday and even into Saturday. Again, by the middle of the end of the work week, we're going to watch the position of Matthew very closely as it approaches the Carolina coastline come Friday and Saturday. Whether or not it makes the bend out to sea or comes close to us uh, remains to be seen. So stay tuned. One thing is for sure, though, by the end of the week and the weekend, uh, the surf and the waves will be picking up, even with the storm far out at sea. So we'll watch that closely. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, next several days looking pretty good through at least Saturday. Of course, the big holiday weekend. So all eyes on Sunday as far as any potential rain and wind. So stay tuned. That's what we have in the forecast right now with the temperature at uh, 65. Obviously, it's a, it's a tough call this far out. But in the coming days, we'll have a better handle. And what? Probably the busiest weekend of the year in the state no, of Rhode Island. That's so. all. Yeah. That's it. So there's no pressure on you, Anthony. No. no. Right. Thanks, Tony. All right. We have more